Examples of automatic obedience. All right, next I'm gonna ask you to put your hand on the table so I can hit it. Although some may prefer not to request a patient to expose themselves to a painful stimulus like this, this technique is considered by many the classic way to elicit automatic obedience because it can provide an unambiguous result. Provided this is the only instance of automatic obedience during the interview, it should be scored a one for occasional. All right, so I'm gonna ask you to do a couple of quick things. Um, go ahead and shake my hand. Wow, um, that's, a, that's a pretty vigorous handshake there. Vigorous guy. All right, well, um, how about this? Show me what a duck looks like. Oh, yeah. Quack, 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 quack. Bark like a dog. Hoof, 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 hoof. And um, how does a frog get around? Kind of hops around like this. Here we see the patient continue shaking the examiner's hand beyond what one would typically expect. Then, without question, he cooperates with a series of instructions to perform acts that clearly go beyond the social norms of a doctor-patient relationship and would normally elicit embarrassment. As the patient exhibits several instances of automatic obedience, we would score this as a two for frequent. By the way, um, could you curl up into a ball for me? How are you feeling today? Yeah, pretty good. Okay, and um, that position, how does that feel? Fine. How did you sleep last night? Ah, you never get any sleep in the hospital. In this instance, the patient automatically obeys the command to curl into a ball. Although one would not typically begin a patient interaction with a command like this, if there is other evidence of automatic obedience, this type of command may evaluate for persistent automatic obedience. In the event the patient remains in such a position throughout the rest of the interview, it would be scored as a three for constant.